webinar uh, today we have our star alumni professor dr ashish mohature with us i welcome on behalf of dr vithal rao vikhe patil foundations institute of business management and rural development village ghat ahmednagar students and my dear colleagues it's indeed a pleasure to welcome a learned professor like dr ashish mohature we are very proud to call upon professor dr ashish mohature i have seen the journey of dr ashish from student to professor though he is from pharmaceutical background he has worked in some pharma industries also but still he has molded himself in a pure academician he has uh, completed his doctorate from savitri bai phule pune university he is working as a professor at mit wpu kothrud pune he has got a wide experience and he likes to teach most importantly so on behalf of alumni association we welcome star alumni prof dr ashish mohature on behalf of director of our institute dr sanjay dharma dikari sir who was very keen for calling our alumni to interact with the present batch of student and as instructions by our honorable chairman namdar sir radha krishna vikhe patil sir he is also very keen in involving alumni with the existing batches so let us start this journey with inviting ourselves so over to you prof dr ashish for interaction and we'll start this session thank you thank you sir thank you first of all let me thank uh, ibm rd uh, i always feel it's my second home and uh, honorable my mentor and guru dr pardeshi sir uh, kandare sir and other faculties also um, i am very actually i am feeling privileged to be a part of this interaction and uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to interact with uh, uh, students of ibm rd uh, as uh, i can see my topic is uh, recent trends in hrm so i will be very focused on very uh, general functions which hrm which hr has to perform in, or in any organization uh, let me just check uh, am i audible can you see me and my is my screen visible at your end any check from anyone check yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. you are thank visible you. and audible thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much so uh, as you know that see hr compared to other fields of management it's a recent field compared to marketing production uh, operations and finance but uh, yes it is not uh, the, it is generally neglected in previous years but nowadays as the time is evolved uh, organizations are actually realizing that this hr also can play very vital role in organizations growth it is also called nowadays as hr as a business partner hr uh, department and overall uh, human resource is considered as one of the key player in overall growth of organization but uh, as you know that uh, time is the only thing which is constant uh, as the time evolved these concept the role of hr is also evolved so in today's session basically i will focus few functions which hr has to perform and how those functions is shift like you can call it as paradigm shift from traditional methods which uh, previously hr were used to to perform all those functions and now how uh, now what exactly the current trends which is applicable in market how companies are using those functions what are the different different uh, methodologies which they are using to perform the same function okay now uh, for today's uh, sessions i have uh, agenda and in this particular session we are going to focus on four points only because again you know that these points this uh, areas are very uh, wide so it is very difficult to cover all these things but uh, as i told you i will just focus on traditional methods how these functions were performed and 
paradigm shift in today's current what you can call area in in era how these functions are performed now and what is uh, current trends in market as as i'm involved in couple of uh, recruitment and selection for few organizations related to it industry so how they are focusing how they are performing the selection function specially to recruit their employees so that is something the agenda which i have so for recruitment selection training and development and performance appraisal these four points i have uh, selected for today's discussion uh, before moving ahead as you can see hr has to perform many functions many functions in organization as you can see here it generally starts with job analysis then hrp we have recruitment after then selection placement induction then companies are training their employees uh, uh, developing them then they are appraising the, their performance in organization and after a particular point uh, employees are leaving organizations or organizations are uh, separating uh, from those employee so this is something uh, we generally identify the processes in hr but as i told you i am not going to focus all these processes because it's very wide so i am i'm very uh, I'm, i want to focus this session uh, on a very particular point so very first is recruitment we know that uh, and most of you also whenever whenever you will perform your job in any hr uh, uh, industry any hr company so in any hr department most of you will join as a recruiter i repeat most of you will join any organization if you have hr as a specialization so for probability of your designation is more as a recruiter okay so aap mein se maximum log jo hai aapka career in hr aap recruiter se hi start karoge that is something which is very uh, what you can call like uh, but obvious so it starts from recruitment now what exactly recruitment is i will not uh, cover the points like what exactly recruitment and what are the definition again i assume that you have that much uh, understanding related to all these concepts initially now uh, as i told you i will just try to focus on how recruitment were done in previous days by companies and how recruitment is done nowadays by the companies what are the various innovative methods they are using to uh, perform this function which is very very important in organization as a recruitment now as you can see my slide here any check from your side can you see uh, my slide at your end any check yes thank you thank you sir so as you can see here uh, traditional methods uh, were used by companies to recruit their human resource in organization in previous days so they used to publish an advertisement most of uh, time in newspaper uh, pamphlets banners and likewise then employment exchange you must have aware that i don't know uh, have you heard the name of employment exchange which is uh, an organization governed by and operated by uh, respective state government district government so from that uh, date from that organizations also these recruiters these companies pull the data of prospect candidates and they tap them for further process of recruitment then campus recruitment again traditionally it was also there and nowadays also it was it is there actually then labor contractors specially happen in manufacturing sector or construction real estate industry consultancies again it is operational in now nowadays also and websites companies own website so these are the traditional ways uh, ways from where companies used to uh, hire the candidate company used to collect the resumes of candidate and tap them for further process but as you know that the time is changed nowadays companies are using innovative and modern sources for recruitment you will not believe companies are using employees their own employees as a source of recruitment i have few data for you which is very interesting and uh, the source of data is very trusted by linkedin so for, uh, as per the linkedin most of the most organizations are trying to focus their current employees to identify future candidates whatever vacancies they have in their organization they are using their current employees to publish those advertisement to publish those vacancies and uh, whatever candidates they are getting from those employee referral in fact you will again not believe if for example you are working in let's say amdox and amdox has one vacancy and if the person which you referred cleared all the rounds and hired by the company in exchange of that successful completion of joining you as an employee will get some uh, amount 
okay for that advertisement and that amount is not uh, like uh, 1000 2000 it's it's in thousands like 50000 up to 70000 also one of my friend who is working in amdocs actually he is earning lots of uh, money from this particular activity okay so trust me as an employee you are getting all these benefits for referring good candidate in organization and organizations are also getting good candidates from employee because time duration to close that vacancy with the help of employee referral is shortest i, I will show you the data also again nowadays companies are focusing on job portals you must have aware that uh, then master nokri.com then uh, times job shine do, shine.com there are lots of portals which are available uh, nowadays so company these portals are not charging anything from candidate okay all you can register on these portals free of cost now what exactly the uh, business model is these companies are charging from companies i repeat these companies these websites are charging from companies to provide them data now you will not believe again they are charging heavy amount they will provide you the the uh, what you can call the way you want candidate if you want candidate according to the uh, qualification they have that data if you want the candidate according to skills they have the data now for example if you are working in it industry and you want the person who is specialized in python okay or uh, oracle or c whatever the language is going on right now then you can directly ask this company i want the person who is expert in python so they will provide you those candidates only those who are expertise in that particular language there is no filter there is no preliminary round there is no sorting and etc you can directly have interaction with them and if the process uh, actually according to process you will select those candidate again shortest way of uh, hiring finding this uh, prospect candidates from this job portals and again again very very important part these portals are very good they have trusted leads trusted leads okay now one more important part is social media as you know that gen z in which you are right now uh, if you want to search a job you all are on social medias whatever linkedin facebook uh, whatsapp and instagram instagram and whatsapp are very famous and facebook also is very famous among teenagers nowadays so companies are tapping these web uh, these portals these uh, social media to hire those candidate even you can post as a organization if you have any page facebook page you can post the advertisement uh, on your own page also and it is paid nominal charges are there and trust me it is very very effective compared to all the traditional medias if you want to publish one advertisement let's say 5 by 5 inch in any newspaper local newspaper it it will cost you more than uh, let's say a range between 50000 to 150000 also you can just check with any uh, agency paper agency then what is the cost to publish an advertisement it is very costly compared to all this thing these medias are effective and again economic also linkedin specially what i told you right now it is a professional social network i request all of you if you don't have your linkedin account please register yourself on linkedin as soon as possible uh, let me can can you just uh, raise your hand how many of you have linkedin profile with you let me just check the sample here okay great sadhna is here rutuja okay great great six candidate i can see seven also eight only eight candidates out of 58 now just see the percentage you have i request everyone who is in this session please register yourself on linkedin platform nowadays companies are tapping this uh, candidate from linkedin and uh, trust me uh, it is very very beneficial for you okay whatever the year in, in which you are whether either it is first year or second year so please register yourself and don't only register up please be active and don't post like uh, visited to this fort and uh, trekking and likewise this is professional network not like your facebook and whatsapp and instagram where we always post our general life uh, achievements you can post on facebook like if you have completed any certification course just post it if you have attended any good webinar just post it if you have uh, 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 let's say achieved any skill or anything which is professionally beneficial for you just post it on your linkedin profile you have to be very very active on linkedin profile with all this career in career in uh, advancement uh, features and skills and knowledge so uh, if you want to select uh, if you want to attract companies 
for you so that you will be selected in that particular company you have to market yourself first of all you need to understand that thing and how you can market yourself with the help of all these medias but again uh, be very very careful while using all these things so this is how paradigm shift is happened during due course of time i'm not telling that okay, these traditional medias are not used nowadays but these modern sources of recruitment actually uh, very very effective and organizations are focusing more on that compared to the traditional one the second function which uh, that i the data which i have uh, if you can just see the source of data is linkedin and the sample size was almost 10000 now just imagine it is not like that ke 100 so 200 logo ke ko puch ke data create kiya hai the sample size was 10000 and you can just generalize now what exactly the data is saying the data is saying that ke suppose you have one vacancy in your organization and if you are using referred employee referral okay you are using employees to uh, close that vacancy almost 29 days it will take to close that vacancy and it is shortest please concentrate the uh, just interpret that data agar aap aapke employees ko use kar rahe ho advertisement ke liye ki hamare yahan pe vacancies hai aur aap aapke dosto ko relatives ko refer karo to vacancy close hone ke liye 29 days lagte hai and it is shortest now if you can just see job boards career sites the data is huge okay so you can as a hr you you should be smart enough to close that vacancy because as a recruiter like sales you have to you have to achieve your targets i repeat like sales you have to achieve your targets if you are in recruitment okay if you are in consultancy they have targets and that you have to complete one more myth one more function which hr is performing nowadays is selection now as you know that selection is again one of the important part if we if we are if as a hr if we are doing any mistake while selection of a particular candidate it is a problematic for subsequent processes also agar aapne galat insaan ko select kiya it is very difficult for you to train him it is very difficult for him to perform because selection was wrong from your side so we we also we have to be very very careful while selecting candidate that's why if you can just check nowadays companies are using lots of innovative methods to select to select the appropriate employee as i told you ke nowadays selection methods are change little bit compared to traditional one traditionally we used to just uh, implement interview group discussion and written test whatever the, the uh, these are uh, nowadays also interview is a part but along with that interviews see मेथड्स ऑलमोस्ट उसी तरीके से है बट उसका इंप्लीमेंटेशन का तरीका चेंज किया है इंटरव्यूज आर देर बट नाउ इज इंटरव्यूज आर बिहेवियर दे आर ट्राइंग टू चेक हाउ यूर इंटरपर्सनल इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स आर दे आर ऑल्सो यूजिंग एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट दे आर ऑल्सो यूजिंग पर्सनैलिटी टेस्ट साइकोमेट्रिक टेस्ट एंड बिहेवियर एंड इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स ऑल्सो नाउ इट इज कंपनी लेट मी लेट मी टेल यू माई ओन एक्सपीरियंस Now, two three years back, when I was in a panel member of uh, a recruitment uh, process for a particular company selection process, rather, so uh, I have an HR with me, and there were all, almost ten to fifteen candidates were there. So in between whatever free time we got, I tried to interact with him, and uh, my question to him was very simple. Please consider it now. What exactly the discussion was? क्वेश्चन ये था कि हमने पूछा उनको कि सर देखो आजकल क्या होता है कि ऑलमोस्ट ऑल कॉलेजेस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल कॉलेजेस आर ट्राइंग टू एजुकेट देयर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम इंटरव्यू पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके आजकल हर एक छोटे से छोटे कॉलेज में बड़े से बड़े कॉलेज में इंटरव्यू ट्रेन का एक ट्रेनिंग का एक सेशन दिया जाता है कुछ लोग उसको एम्प्लॉयबिलिटी एनहांसमेंट बोलते हैं प्लेसमेंट एक्टिविटी बोलते हैं प्रॉब्लम विद इंस्टीट्यूट आर ट्रेनिंग एम्प्लॉय ट्रेनिंग स्टूडेंट हाउ टू अपियर फॉर दैट इंटरव्यू वॉट टू डू वॉट नॉट टू डू डूज एंड डोंट्स ऑफ इंटरव्यू सिलेक्शन में क्या बात करनी है कैसे बात करनी नहीं है रिज्यूम कैसे बनाना है सो so, अगर हमारे पास सौ कैंडिडेट है सबको पता है कि बोलना क्या उन सबको पता है कि क्या बोलना है वॉट इज इंट्रोड्यूस यू नो नो दैट कि आपको वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव पॉइंट आपको क्लियर करने हैं इफ यू आर एम्प्लॉयड इन एक्स वाइज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू नो दैट कि आपको उस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का बुराई नहीं करना है ओके यू नो दैट यू हैव वॉट इज द आंसर ऑफ वाई यू वॉन्ट टू लीव यूर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आइडियल आंसर बी कॉल्ड एस 
देन हाउ एच आर इज गोइंग टू हायर दैट पर्टिकुलर कैंडिडेट उसका उनका काम तो अभी टफ हो गया है क्योंकि जो आइडियल आंसर है वो सबने आप सब तो आपने रटे हुए है सो एज एच आर योर जॉब इज डिफिकल्ट वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट नाउ यू के नॉट रिलाय ऑन ट्रेडिशनल मेथड ऑफ सिलेक्शन बिकॉज यू नो कि ये क्वेश्चन ऐसा आना चाहिए तब जाके इम्प्लॉय जो कैंडिडेट वो सही है अरे बट सबके सब वो आंसर देने वाले यू नो एज ए स्टूडेंट ऑल्सो यू नो दैट के दिस क्वेश्चन दैट आंसर रट के आते सब बच्चे बिलीव के ऑलमोस्ट आंसर का फ्लो भी सेम होता है मैक्सिमम कैंडिडेट का जो इंटरव्यू आते हैं तब then we had a very constructive and fruitful discussion then uh, there were two three members also from other companies it was a campus campus placement actually campus placement drive so what happened uh, then we started a discussion on that so all hr were agree on one point that nowadays only interview or traditional interviews are not sufficient to hire a good candidate you have to change the format of inter you have to change the questions you have to change the way which the way uh, you are going to take their interviews so actually it includes psychometric and what you can call behavioral and interpersonal skills also you have to give them cases you have to give them situation you have to ask them unusual question which they are not expecting Uh, whenever please concentrate uh, i am also involved in few couple of uh, interview process so uh, i have an uh, always off track question for student for candidate not for student now can you tell me a joke just see simple question can you tell me a joke trust me uh, let's say if we can just take uh, uh, same percentage almost 90% students are not uh, candidates are not able to tell this answer kabhi koi expect hi nahi karta ki tell me a joke ये क्वेश्चन इंटरव्यू में पूछा जाएगा ना वाई वी आर डूइंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स वी आर टू चेक दैट हाउ कैंडिडेट इज नेचुरल हाउ कैंडिडेट इज वॉट यू कैन कॉल हाउ मच प्रेजेंस ऑफ माइंड और सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर ही हैज हाउ मच क्विक ही इज हाउ मच हाउ मच क्राइसिस ही कैन हैंडल सो वेरी ट्रू यू कैन यू कैन डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स वेन एवर यू आर डूइंग यूर सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस इन यूर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ इट इज कंपनीज आर फोकसिंग ऑन पर्सनलिटी टेस्ट एक्चुअली एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट आर कॉमन Uh, the difficulty level is uh, here and there but uh, apart from that behavioral and uh, psychometric tests are companies companies are using now what exactly personality tests are if we can just check here i'm damn sure that we have already gone through gen typology tests and mbti indicators mears based type indicators on the basis of which this personality test is created by a gen okay now if we can just check on google Uh, just type humanmetrics.com the website is here i have just mentioned the uh, website name here humanmetrics.com and uh, whatever first site you will get on google you can just click on that now if you can just check this is the uh, um, home page of that particular website discover your personality type now this test includes almost 60 to 64 questions and each question has five options okay capital s small s maybe or neutral small no and capital no these five options uh, actually each question has now what you have to do you have to read th- that question carefully if you are not able to understand use google translate in your mother tongue just try to understand what exactly the question is and on the basis of question you have to answer that at the end of this particular test you have to mention your gender and age and after that you will get personality four alphabet there are total 16 types of personality out of which your personality will be only one ek hi personality hoga aapka jisme four letters honge and the important thing is this test will also suggest you i repeat please concentrate on my wordings also these this test will suggest you what exactly your personality is in addition to that this test will also suggest you which are the areas professional areas towards which your personality suits kaun se aise professions hai kaun se aise careers hai jahan pe aapka personality suit karta hai now please concentrate disclaimer this test is just suggestive not 100% uh, uh, applicable but at least you can get some idea and accordingly you can select and finalize your career okay you can just try it humanmetrics.com very very important test companies are also using this test nowadays if they if they feel that ke xyz personality type is suitable for their job they will sort the candidate who has that particular personality and then will uh, then they will conduct this interview process on those filtered candidate 
only. Okay, it will save time. Now, one more function which HR has to perform is training and development. We know that everyone needs training. There is a myth among all the employees and candidates that only fresher needs training. No, my dear students, my dear friends, not student, uh, this training and development is applicable for every designation and everyone, even from tune to CEO, even from uh, fresher to experienced candidate, this is applicable to every, every, every employees in organization. So traditionally, there were few ways with the help of which uh, companies used to train their employees. We did classroom, we did job instruction, coaching and job rotation. These are very common and traditional ways of uh, training to employees and development. Now, companies are using innovative and modern ways to train employees. You must have heard about simulation. You must have heard about case study role play, CAIS, computer aided information system, and finally business game. So, click din gay, kyaapko class me bitha jatata, do do tin tin din, or jo chelra hai, trainer aki batara hai, or a boro jate. Hum jesse is a insan bada hota, uska sunneka capacity kam hota jata. Hum hame bulneki other zada hota, sunneki kam hota. And it is reality. And again, you have to understand that ke, as a human mind, हम ज्यादा से ज्यादा 45 मिनट कंस्ट्रक्टिव फोकस कर सकते हैं किसी भी सेशन पे उससे ज्यादा हमारा माइंड इधर उधर एक्सेप्शंस आर ऑलवेज देयर बट दिस दिस आर समथिंग द स्टडी सेज ओके बिहेवियरल स्टडीज नाउ टू ओवरकम दैट प्रॉब्लम कैन वी यूज सम इनोवेटिव मेथड्स लाइक सिमुलेशन सिमुलेशंस आर नथिंग बट आइडियल सुडो कंडीशंस आर क्रिएटेड एनवायरमेंट इज क्रिएटेड एंड इन दैट एनवायरमेंट कैंडिडेट हैज टू परफॉर्म दिस इज यूज्ड इन आर्मी Uh, especially in pilot to train pilot these simulation techniques are used for managers also these techniques are uh, very very popular nowadays even in mit you will not believe at graduation level for bbas uh, we are using simulation to train them we are using simulation to give them corporate experience okay so simulation nowadays are very very important you can go to google and can identify how simulation work how it is important to uh, from corporate point of view and you can just try to explore that those things also case studies yes very very innovative and effective ways it increase your thinking and analytical ability interpretation ability also role plays common c a i s again innovative and trending method nowadays companies are using computer aided information system they have a particular setup with the help of which candidates uh, are allowed to uh, perform those uh, functions so that they can learn by themselves self learning okay then business games also similar to simulation again very very effective method which companies are using to train the uh, employees training and development and finally as i told you okay, i have only four topics to discuss with you so very uh, last and important topic is performance appraisal you know that ke we have to understand we have to analyze what exactly the performance of your employee chahe wo kitne bhi acche ho chahe wo kitne bhi educated ho but if their performance is not as per the satisfaction of management that particular employee is useless for organization dhyan do bahut important cheez hai now what happen nowadays companies were used to uh, companies were used traditional methods to identify the performance of employee few of these methods are applicable in today's date also there is no doubt in that okay even though these are traditional but they are effective you, you must have heard about ranking peer comparison grading checklist and graphical scale but these are traditional methods but nowadays companies are using innovative and modern methods to appraise the performance of employees though uh, data driven method was out of date now wo hai effective hai but abhi isko zyada use nahi kiya jata companies are more focused on tradish, uh, modern methods for performance appraisal and one of that method is mbo you must have heard that method and i hope you have gone through mbo in your curriculum it's in first year or i think for hr uh, specialization student management by objective most of the organization i repeat most of the organizations are using this mbo nowadays it is very very effective method among all the available methods for performance appraisal of your employee one more is assessment center and 360 degree appraisal so what i'm trying to tell you the overall focus of this particular session is as a hr you have to implement new methodologies in your organization you have to create 
culture from that particular point of view and uh, apart from these four major functions there are many more you can create very good culture you can innovate you, know, you can implement innovative techniques and methods in your organization whatever the things are you must have heard about hrms human resource information system nowadays most of the companies are using that particular software okay it's a concept that is hrms but there are many companies which are providing it's Eka, Zoho, Great HR, People's HR. There are lots of companies that are providing, providing the software. So we have to match the trend, first of all. If you are not matching that trend, you will be phased out from the, from the industry, basically. So please update yourself among all related to all these parameters. It should not be like that okay, in your interview, HR will ask you, uh, have you heard about HRMS? And if you have, uh, and if you don't have any answer for that, again, you are not updated. You are, you are not. You will not be considered for that particular job if another person knows about HRMS. So what I am trying to tell you, please try to update yourself. Abo sare chize gaye. Abhi do tine din pehle dean, honorable dean, management ka ek article aata newspaper mein. Every student is getting ninety percent. How companies will select those candidates. It is very difficult for companies to identify the good candidate because, because of this corona and online examination, uh, most of students are above 90%. Sabke, sabke percentage 90 above hai. So, sabke percentage 90 above honge, to companies select kaise karenge? Okay. So, again, the only option they have is nothing but performance. Test karo. Out of way, jaake questions poochho. Because routine to aapne dekha hai. Aapke percentage se wo reflect bhi ho raha hai. So this is something which I have with me. As per this is, I told me to keep this session very short. I tried to manage my time in 30, 30 minutes actually. Now I would like to hear some questions if you have, and uh, please feel free to interact with me. Over to you. Yes. Uh, thank you, Ashish. Thank uh, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, last students, if you have any questions or queries, you're welcome to ask yeah. one by one. Yes. So uh, I'm waiting for your questions. All of you, please feel free to ask your questions. Check. You can also put if you have any question in the chat box or you can ask directly to Professor Dr. Ashish. Uh, there are two possibilities only. You got everything and you got nothing. So I hope you are in first category. Hello, good morning. Asif, Asif. Sir, very good morning, sir. Sir, how are you, sir? Uh, was fine. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, what you. I want to ask you, please, sir. Uh, you focus on the, the those areas where there is a maximum possibility of employments. Mm -hmm. To focus on that only. okay so as i told you in my session that from hr perspective if you want to start your career so you have to start with or recruitment or rather even though you don't like that particular profile but uh, uh, you have to start or you you will have to uh, occupy that particular designation because most of the organizations are recruiting uh, candidates in that particular profile so that's i'm telling you again and again okay there are lots of avenues you can start your career with a recruiter, uh, then gradually whatever or in whichever area you have interest, be it it's training and development or payroll, payroll administration or appraisal or selection process or IR also. IR is one more challenging task. You may feel that okay, only uh, handling labor union is very good task and uh, this and that. No. It's one of the challenging tasks, especially with respect to manufacturing sector. Generally, in our HR industry, it is said that okay, if you want to take real HR experience, just try to work as IR in manufacturing sector. If you have handled manufacturing sector, mein IR ka profile handle kiya, definitely you will get uh, worst experience in your HR career. And that makes you very capable candidate to handle all the remaining profiles which HR has to handle. So there are three, four uh, common profile which you can, which you can occupy in industry, especially in terms of HR. 
first one is recruiter second one is performance appraisal area third one is trainer training and development we call it as tnd and one more is payroll administration so payroll administration is something which is booming nowadays uh, no doubt there are softwares to uh, do all, all these things but yes we need human intervention in that also because we have to fear that data compliances and whatever the policies which we have uh, of our organization in that particular software but uh, these four areas are prominent and uh, what you can call like uh, booming in hr industry other parameters are also there but as i told you these are commonly observed designations in any hr industry among all these four five designation recruiter uh, is very very common and that's i have already cleared ke shayad aap mein se maximum logo ko aapka hr mein career recruiter he as a recruiter he start karna padega yes it is kind of marketing designation aap dhyan do sare log ke even though it's a profile of hr but you are do or you have to do the task of marketing only aapko sell karni hai company आपको सेल करनी है वो डेसिग्नेशन जिसके लिए आप ये सारा रिक्रूटमेंट प्रोसेस कर रहे हो सो इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट के यू विल बी इन कोर एच आर डोमेन वेन एवर यू विल ज्वाइन इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट यू के नॉट सेपरेट मार्केटिंग फ्रॉम दैट इन एवरी फील्ड इन एवरी डेसिग्नेशन यू हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट मार्केटिंग ओनली आई होप आई आंसर योर क्वेश्चन सर चेक स्टूडेंट्स any students if you are if you are interested to ask if you do not understands you can ask to our uh, guest asutosh ashish mothri hello good afternoon dr suryo good afternoon sir good yes. afternoon sir your session was excellent ashish thank you sir thank you so much Very informative. because of you all eminent gurus which i uh, have with me sir yes yes only one uh, i can say suggestion yeah please sir. when we are discuss we discussing about the trends in hrm mm -hmm. uh, in case of say we already conducted our international conference on okay. uh, industry 5.0 mm -hmm. now in that case what should be the skill set that hr mm -hmm. manager should have in that particular scenario where technology will be at very dominance level you know Mm -hmm. we are yes, talking about yes. artificial intelligence and big data and so many things now exactly. in that case how our hr students will cope mm -hmm. with that change now can add something okay. yes you. so thank you sir for your yes. question and it's very good question for it will definitely help other students who are just listening this discussion uh, as i personally feel that it's a demand of uh, corporate nowadays also there is one field uh, called data analytics or hr analytics which is booming with other fields nowadays as you can see any domain be it its marketing production hr or finance analytics is something uh, the area which is booming and actually getting lots of importance in corporate also so if you want to uh, equip with yours if equip yourself with the current trends in whatever market which is uh, uh, applicable so you can have two uh, skill set with you you can equip yourself with two skill set first one is your analytical ability especially in terms of hr metrics actually and another one is uh, hrms because most of the organization wants hrms capability candidate because i rightly told you that almost all organizations are using hrms with them so you must understand what exactly hrms is if you uh, want some data from my side also you can uh, take my number from pradesh sir or any other faculty and you can connect with me directly i have a very good database with me related to data analytics or uh, hrms so what i'm trying to tell you k okay, you have to equip equip yourself with data analytics and for that there are very good courses available online especially with respect to hr analytics there is one designation nowadays which is booming called hr generalist or uh, generalist okay uh, journalist so in that case also you can explore yourself uh, as i told you there are lots of websites which are providing certification courses on this particular domain uh, to name few alison and coursera these two websites are very very famous udemy is also famous so i personally recommend coursera and you can just go on coursera.com okay you can explore the courses online courses available on that particular website 
related to HR analytics, uh, HR generalist, uh, generalist also. Uh, and uh, more important, most important thing is these courses are free. I repeat, these courses are free. You can just check that. And if you want to learn something, these courses are free. Even though you want to get certificate from this website after completion of your course, you can apply for financial aid. Okay, financial aid is something which is kind of scholarship. So after complete, if your application is approved, it is but obvious that you have to answer any questions. And you have to mention that why you want that particular scholarship also. So from four weeks to 16 weeks, courses are available. And trust me, uh, I'm telling with this particular confidence to you because I have already completed almost 10 to 13 courses from these websites Okay, related to HR functions. So just go on that website, identify HR analytics and HR generalist or HR, uh, HRMS courses, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, big data, uh, all these courses are available. And you can apply for financial aid within 15 days, you will get an approval, either approved or rejected. So after you can complete those courses, you can mention these courses in your resume, it will definitely give weightage to your resume compared to other candidates uh, whenever you will uh, go for any interview. So these are the areas related to uh, how you can make your resume, your skill set, uh, how you can increase your competencies compared to other candidates. And these are recent trends which uh, are booming in market nowadays. So I hope I answer your question, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you, Ashish. Hi, Dr. Thank Ashish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Khandare, sir. Uh, how are you, sir? I'm fine, Ashish. How are you? Sir, I'm also good, sir. Right, right, right. It is a very uh, proud to moment to see that uh, you have uh, HR specialist and imparting your skills with our student. So it's all because of your blessings, sir, which I had uh, no, with certainly. me uh, from my uh, graduation and post-graduation. Thank you, all of you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, now, this is what is uh, the, the trends in HRM as long as the HR student, prospective students are there mm -hmm. uh, into your audience as well as uh, already pursuing HR students are there. Now, uh, the work from home culture now recently been introduced. Mm -hmm. Work from home. And yes, sir. And as long as uh, HR practices are concerned, basically what uh, I pursue is that human resources to utilize the resources. Mm -hmm. Right? And whatever resources we have. Uh, and accordingly, that, to, that, that resources to be trained and uh, developed. Uh, so, so far work from home culture is concerned so many of the employee across the sector right from mm -hmm. except manufacturing because that cannot be replaced that is a physical activity True. dependent service industries are such wherein uh, can you put a light to our student mm -hmm. that what type of preparation they should be prepared as long as they are working in uh, apart from manufacturing industry Okay, so uh, you want me to highlight uh, what employee should do for work from home or what organization should what, do what, from... what, are, what, what should be the role of HRM? HR, okay. Uh, okay. Role of HR. Okay, okay. So for, as far as uh, this COVID is concerned, we, we initially, actually it was, uh, it's not a new culture, first of correct, all. Correct, it, correct. It was uh, there in IT industry way long back. Uh, let me tell you my own example. I have my cousin brother who is working in IBM. Uh, since 2019, I repeat, since 2019, before Corona, way back before Corona, uh, he actually uh, never visited his office almost three, four years now. So yes, it is applicable in few industries, service industry, rather we can call IT industry, other industries also, apart from banking, uh, apart from uh, manufacturing industry, which uh, uh, Khandare sir told, because physical presence is important in that particular industry. So from HR, we have to ensure that, okay, let me highlight few data related to this. See, there are lots of studies. Uh, if you can just go through newspapers and studies also, or research papers also, which are mentioned in AB, AB, ABDC and Scopus Index journals. So uh, there are lots of studies which are saying that the conclusion of that study is uh, study was okay from HR uh, candidates wants back to the organization because of but obvious reason. 
they feel that ke in organize whenever they works in organization it's a fixed timing let's say 10 to 5 9 to 5 9 to 4 whatever the timings are but whenever they are working from home they have to spend more time uh, as a they have to spend more time for working this is something the uh, candidates are actually uh, claiming because of that many employees wants to come back to that particular workplace rather working from home this is first uh, you can call the set of people who have that particular mindset with them another mindset is as you know that in between diwali period when corona was uh, lowest or almost gone many companies plan to re recall their em employees on campus or in companies physical uh, offices so many tcs was the first one to take that particular call so many people i repeat many people thought that ke they will leave that organization if work from home is not continued so there is one set with us who wants work from home for their whatever profile is now what happen is hr has to identify hr has to be very very flexible in that particular case yes no doubt we have to ensure the productivity of employees also we have to identify few metrics in that particular case uh, we can allow them to choose the option either work from home or from campus or hybrid mode or whatever the conditions are so for all these cases hr can identify a few metrics on the basis of which we can analyze the performance of employees and decision can be taken on that particular data unless and until because there are many people who want to come back to the office there are many people who want to be at home so we cannot uh, implement one policy for all the employees because again we know that uh, के आज के जमाने में आप एम्प्लॉयज को इतना रिजिड uh, तरीके से नहीं बांध के रख सकते नाउ इन एडिशन टू दिस पर्टिकुलर आंसर आई वुड लाइक टू ऐड वन वन इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन विच आई हैव ऑब्जर्व इन इन बिटवीन दिस इयर्स आज का जो जनरेशन है जनरेशन जी वी कॉल टेम एज आफ्टर टू थाउजेंड टेन तो ये जो जनरेशन है जो अभी जॉब करेंगे मिलेनियल्स लाइक मी ऑल्सो उस केस में क्या हुआ है कि हमारे ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स ने जो जॉब किया था या भी जो भी कुछ काम किया था उन्होंने वो काम उनके बेसिक नेसेसिटीज कंप्लीट करने के लिए किया था चाहे वो खाना हो चाहे वो रहना हो कपड़े हो उसके बाद हमारे पेरेंट्स ने जो जॉब किया है या वो जो अभी करते हैं वो उन्होंने थोड़ा बहुत उससे आगे क्योंकि उनका खाना पीना जो बेसिक नेसेसिटीज है वो तो पहले ही उनके पेरेंट्स ने कम्प्लीट कर दिया था उन्होंने अभी थोड़ा आगे जाके जॉब उनके ऑब्जेक्टिव कुछ अलग थे चाहे घर लेना हो चाहे थोड़ा मोटा सेविंग्स हो कुछ स्टेबिलिटी हो वगैरह वगैरह अब आपके केस में क्या होने वाला है या हो रहा है हमारे केस में भी कि हमारी जो बेसिक नेसेसिटीज है वो पूरी पहले ही कंप्लीट कर दी है हमारा घर भी है हमारे मोस्ट ऑफ द केसेस एक्सेप्शंस आर ऑलवेज देयर हमारे ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स ने वो टेक केयर किया है हमारे पेरेंट्स ने वो टेक केयर किया है बट आज आप लोग जो जॉब करने वाले हो या फिर जो करोगे तो आपका जो ऑब्जेक्टिव है what whatever your objective will be it will be not only to work for your bread and butter because that care is already taken care by your mother your parents or your grandparents now whatever the reason you will work most of you will work to satisfy your own needs to satisfy the work satisfaction to get work satisfaction aap uh, सिर्फ खाने पीने को अर्न करने के लिए आप अर्न नहीं करोगे आपका जो रीजन होगा जॉब करने का वो इनसे अलग होगा डेफिनेटली एक्सेप्शन आर ऑलवेज देयर तो व्हाट हैपन अगर आपके हिसाब से कुछ चीजें नहीं हो रही है यू विल वेट फॉर गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड देन यू विल डेफिनेटली स्विच दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सपोज एनी कंपनी इज नॉट अलाउविंग मी टू वर्क फ्रॉम होम इफ दैट कंपनी इज इंसिस्टिंग मी टू ज्वाइन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन so if i want work from home i will wait for the opportunity and definitely i will leave that organization and i will definitely shift to the organization which is allowing me to work from home so candidates jo hai wo abhi rukne wale hai nahi because uh, jaise company ko candidates chahiye hote hai waise candidates ko bhi companies chahiye hote it's a two way affair actually so accordingly hr has to take a call you cannot implement one policy for all the employee again you have to work on that there are, there should be lots of research एक्चुअली ये रिसर्च का टॉपिक है कि हम कैसे पॉलिसीज कन्वर्ट कर सकते फ्रेम कर सकते इन इन जिनका डिमांड अलग अलग है फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो आई होप खंडारा सर आंसर योर क्वेश्चन Yes, correct. Nice. I'm wrong. No, no, very nicely you put given insight to student. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Future trend also. Thank you, thank you, sir.
thank you ashish now i hand over uh, this session to our senior professor dr murari sharma sir to kindly propose vote of thanks uh, hello thank you, i think prerna has some question uh, yes uh, sorry to interrupt you sir no issues please go ahead yes uh, yes uh, hello sir prerna here uh, i have one question uh, yeah. that uh, what is the top most question like uh, when we are um, getting um, means when we are appearing for hr position so mm -hmm. what is the question which we are getting asked in an interview okay as i told you uh, candidates nowadays are interview trained we i always call this particular uh, terminology interview trained candidates so basic questions would be definitely there like introduce yourself if you are fresher why you want to join our organization uh, why we should hire you and uh, basic concepts uh, they may check from your side like what is difference between base recruitment and selection and few methods of training performance appraisals and etc etc but what i personally feel that ke uh, yes you cannot skip these basic questions because ye to karne hi padenge isme koi doubt nahi hai ट्रेन योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम एप्टीट्यूड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू जो आजकल एंट्रेंस एग्जाम में जो होता है एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर यूजिंग दिस एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट टू हायर कैंडिडेट यू कैन प्रैक्टिस ऑल दिस एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट सो दैट योर प्रोबेबिलिटी गेटिंग सिलेक्टेड विल बी इंक्रीज कंपेयर टू अदर कैंडिडेट्स एंड आई पर्सनली फील वेन एवर आई हैड इंट्रैक्शन विद दिस एच आर प्रोफेशनल दे आर मोर फोकस फ्रॉम द बिहेवियरल एंड इंटरपर्सनल स्किल वो ये नहीं देखते ओके लेट मी एड वन पॉइंट टू दिस डिस्कशन देखो आजकल कंपनी को एक इंसान कितना अकेले अच्छा कर रहा है वो उसमें वो ज्यादा इंटरेस्टेड नहीं है अगर एक एम्प्लॉय अकेले बहुत एक्सीलेंट परफॉर्म कर रहा है और दूसरा एम्प्लॉय एवरेजली परफॉर्म कर रहा है बट एज ए टीम मेंबर वो बहुत एक्सीलेंट परफॉर्म कर रहा है डेफिनेटली कंपनी विल गो फॉर सेकेंड वन बिकॉज नाउ वट इज कंपनी वॉन्ट टीम प्लेयर नॉट इंडिविजुअल परफॉर्मर इंडिविजुअल परफॉर्मर तो लगेगा ही बट सिर्फ इंडिविजुअल परफॉर्मर्स नहीं लगेगा सो वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डेल यू के इक्विप यूर सेल्फ एज अ टीम मेंबर आपको टीम में कैसे काम करना है आप टीम में कैसा बिहेव करोगे कैसा परफॉर्म करोगे बाकी लोगों को साथ में लेके कैसे काम करोगे दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू कैन ब्रश यूर स्किल्स इंटरपर्सनल स्किल्स रादर on that particular front and other parameters jo case study based questions hote hai you can practice on that situational based questions hote hai us pe aap zyada focus karo but again uh, this is something which you have to do there is no option for that because as i told you again and again nowadays companies are facing problem because of interview trained candidates wo unka problem ye nahi hai problem ye hai ki sabke sab acche answer de rahe dekho इवेल्युएशन के लिए जो इवेल्युएटर होता है ना उसको इवेल्युएशन इजी कब होता है कुछ लोगों ने अच्छे आंसर्स दिए कुछ लोगों ने गलत आंसर दिए प्रॉब्लम कहाँ पे होता है सबके सब अगर सही आंसर दे रहे तब प्रॉब्लम होता है वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो यू कैन डिफ्रेंशिएट यूर सेल्फ विद अदर्स ना एज आई टोल्ड यू इन दिस सेशन वेन खंडारे सर आस्क मी क्वेश्चन के आप जो आपको अपने आप को डिफ्रेंशिएट करते आना चाहिए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड फॉर दैट यू हैव टू डू समथिंग आउट ऑफ बॉक्स जैसे मैं सर्टिफिकेट कोर्स का एग्जांपल दे रहा हूँ बार बार देखो दो लोग हैं इंटरव्यू के लिए तो वो आपको पूछेंगे ना कि व्हाई व्हाई शुड वी हायर यू एंड व्हाई नॉट अदर कैंडिडेट सो यू हैव समथिंग विथ यू टू डिफरेंशिएट योरसेल्फ सो दैट्स द रीजन व्हाई आई टोल्ड यू यू कैन जस्ट एक्सप्लोर सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्सेज ऑनलाइन कोर्सेज फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट कोर्सेज एंड ट्रस्ट मी द कॉन्टेंट इज वेरी वेरी एक्सिलेंट कॉन्टेंट बहुत अच्छा कॉन्टेंट है यू कैन मैंशन इन योर रिज्यूमे यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई दम यू कैन यू कैन पोजिशन यूर to the uh, interviewer or selectors ke ye dekho sir mere syllabus mein ye tha wo to humne kiya but iske alawa maine ye sare cheeze ki hai so uh, i am it it shows that you have learn attitude with you aapko jo learning attitude jo bolte hain hum hr mein wo aapke paas hai again one more thing ke don't lie in your interviews ye bahut sharp log hote hain आपने अगर थोड़ा सा भी इधर उधर किया तो डेफिनेटली दे विल आइडेंटिफाई अगेन वन मोर थिंग डोंट थिंक दैट कि हर एक सवाल का आंसर देना ही है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी जस्ट टेल यू वेरी फ्रैंकली इफ यू डोंट डू नो एनी थिंग डोंट ट्राई टू सर ये है वो याद करके वो है वगैरह डोंट डू ऑल दिस थिंग्स कंपनी वॉन्ट ऑनेस्ट पीपल विथ दैट तो नहीं आता है तो डायरेक्टली बोल दो स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड कि आई डोंट नो सॉरी टू से बट आई एम आई डोंट हैव एनी आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज ओके it is but obvious and be honest 
आई ऑलवेज फॉलो द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ बी ऑनेस्ट जो है आप जो हो आप वो प्रेजेंट करो बट अगेन इन अफेक्टिव मैनर आई होप प्रेरणा आई हैव आंसर्ड योर क्वेश्चन यस सर थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच Okay. Any other questions? Yes, please. Okay, now, any students want to ask? Okay. Uh, today, I present Hello, one book. Yes. Sir, one question. Yes, Apple. please. Ha, yes, sir. Um, Maja Bhavat sir, MBA marketing jale. So, mm -hmm. sadhya currently Vipro madhe job karte. तर मग एचआर मध्य कर ड्यूएल स्पेशलाइजेशन के चले का मीन्स बेटर रहे का ते? हाँ वो कर सकते हैं और एक्सप्लोर भी कर सकते हैं जैसे हमने बोला कि आजकल वो ट्रेंड जो है ना वो ऑलमोस्ट थोड़ा थोड़ा उसका जो लाइन है तीन लाइन वो थोड़ा मतलब धुंधला सा हो गया है अगर आपका प्रोफाइल जो भी कुछ आपका एजुकेशन हो बट आपके स्किल सेट अगर वैसे है अगर आपके आ, नॉलेज वैसा है अगर आपका लिटिल बिट एजुकेशन वैसा है तो आप डेफिनेटली शिफ्ट कर सकते हो लेट मी गिव यू माय ओन एग्जांपल यू विल नॉट बिलीव आई एम फार्मेसी ग्रेजुएट आई हैव इन्वेस्टेड माय 4 इयर्स इन ग्रेजुएशन ऑफ बी फार्मेसी सो एज ऑफ नाउ आई डोंट हैव एनी एक्सेस ऑफ यूज ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर इंफॉर्मेशन बट आई हैव डन दैट सो इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट के एट व्हाटएवर पॉइंट इफ यू फील दैट के यू शुड बी इन दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया यू शुड बी इन दैट पर्टिकुलर डोमेन यू कैन डू इट बट ट्राई टू दैट यू हैव टूट इक्विप यूर सेल्फ विद स्किल सेट रिक्वायर्ड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर डोमेन सो दिस इज वॉट आई कैन से एट एनी पॉइंट बट ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको लग रहा है और आप जा रहे हो आपके पास वो स्किल सेट होने चाहिए यू हैव टू इक्विप यूर सेल्फ विद दो स्किल सेट्स इज इट ओके मृणाल ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू on behalf of dr vittal rao vikhe patel foundations and dr uh, and institute of business management and rural developments and on behalf of our directors i present the warm vote of thanks to dr asutosh mathure uh, asis mathure wpo mit uh, who is associate professor he, is, he was the our alumni uh, star alumni from the ibm rd he has completed uh, mba from our institutes and thank you asutosh and uh, thank you all of the listeners thank you all the participants and those uh, who organized thank you dr pardeshi sir who nicely organized nicely handling this programs and thank you all the listeners and we will meet you again and uh, one request to asutosh uh, if you have some uh, uh, the external uh, tools जिसको हम एप्स बोलेंगे या कुछ वेबसाइट्स बोलेंगे तो यू सेंड अस विल डिस्ट्रीब्यूट अमंग द स्टूडेंट्स दैट इट विल बी डायरेक्ट बेनिफिटेड टू आवर स्टूडेंट्स श्योर सर श्योर डेफिनेटली सर ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू गुड डे हैव अ गुड डे गुड डे सर थैंक यू डॉक्टर शर्मा सर फॉर प्रपोजिंग वोट ऑफ थैंक्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स द फीडबैक लिंक इज शेयर्ड इन द चैट बॉक्स Uh, you all should feel that feedback link on the basis of the you will be getting certificates for attending the webinar uh, 